All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Fit to Fat to Fit Experience podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in for another great episode here with me and Lynn. Um, today's episode is a little bit unique, you guys. We are here in Carlsbad, California. And Beautiful Carlsbad, yes, California. It's ugly here. The it's ocean horrible weather. is right across from this <laughs> hotel room. So we are in a hotel room uh, filming this and, um, or filming, recording this. <laughs> um, and basically, today, what we wanted to do was bring on the uh, winners of our Dollar Workout Club 60 Day Challenge that was sponsored by MRM, um, the supplement company based out of Carlsbad. And they are the ones who sponsored it. And so basically, what we did is we created a 60 day a uh, program that people could um, join by purchasing a, a pack from MRM. And anyways, um, the two winners, uh, right, they're, they they submitted their stories, their transformation photos. It wasn't just about weight loss or, you know, you know uh, who was the most ripped by the end of the challenge, but it was who had the best story, right? And, and of course, you know, obviously they did have to lose weight, but that wasn't a re, uh, the biggest requirement, right? So anyways, uh, Dan Ashworth and Malia Worth. Dan is from North Carolina. Malia is from Kansas. This is their first time in California, so uh, they are loving the ocean and the beautiful weather. And uh, obviously, Lynn and I grew up here, so we're, we're pretty used to it. And we love it out like here, it. but we're, hap- we like we're happy we we're going to be here for a couple of people's first beautiful experiences out here. And you guys are going to love Dan and Malia as we jump into the podcast. We're going to share a little bit about the challenge, uh, what they learned, the biggest takeaways that they have, not even about the specific challenge details, but in health and fitness in general, because it's great to hear other people's stories and what inspires them. Yeah, they basically talk about how they, you know, were the challenges they went through, right? And how they found out about Dollar Workout Club. Um, their experience doing the 60 day challenge, things that they learned and took away from it and, and things that are going to help them to maintain this type of lifestyle after the 60 day challenge. Cause as we know, most people just gain the weight back, right? Or they fall back in old habits. So we talk about things that they can do or that they've done to, uh, maintain this cause the, the challenge ended quite a few months ago. So we brought them out here and they had to kind of maintain that since, uh, you know, they're going to be meeting us in person. Anyways, before we jump into today's episode, you guys, our show sponsors are first everlywell.com, E V E R L Y W E L L.com. Uh, Everlywell is, uh, is a very unique company that I'm super excited to partner with because basically what they do is they have at home medical tests that you can order online. They send you the kit you do at home. So you prick your finger or some of them are urine tests and you put it in the samples, right, that they have for you and you put it in the, the little package that's already there. You follow the easy to follow instructions and boom, there you go. You either drop it off at a UPS store or schedule pickup. There's no doctor's offices. There's no waiting. There's no taking the results to a lab, waiting weeks, paying expensive amounts of money to get these, uh, these tests done. Uh, you can test anything from your metabolism, like uh, you know, your thyroid and your hormones, testosterone. You can also check your your lipid profile, so your glucose, your triglycerides, your HDL, LDL, um, all of those things that that you could go to a doctor's office for. It's so much cheaper to use EverlyWell.com. And uh, for my followers, they have a discount code fit to fat to fit for 10% off your order, you guys. You will love it. I, it's a game changer for me because for me in the past, I used to have to pay thousands of dollars or find a sponsor to pay thousands of dollars to do these expensive medical tests. And now I can just use Everly Well and it's you know $79 for one of the tests or $100, $200 at the most for some of the more extensive tests. But it's so convenient. It's so important, you guys. If you... If you change your oil in your car more than you test your blood, then something needs to change. You need to start investing in your health, and everlywell.com makes it so much more convenient. So go to everlywell.com forward slash fit to fat to fit, or use my discount code fit to fat to fit at checkout for a discount. Yeah, and our other show sponsor is questnutrition.com. Um, most people have heard of Quest Nutrition. Most people know them for their famous and delicious protein bars, which of course I love. And on most of the podcasts, I talk specifically about their protein bars because I love to keep them in my purse and in my car, a healthy snack on the go. They're high in fiber, they're low in sugar, um, things like that. But today I just want to tout a little bit their protein chips, which 
are delicious and amazing. I love the flavors, but more importantly, I even love that for me, like my kids are going to school. I have a kindergartner and a second grader, and it's hard because kids get packed lunches that are full of sugary treats. Really, they're not very nutrient dense. And I'm not saying that in judgment of parents. Trust me, you guys all know me and know that my kids get get ice cream cones from time to time. But it's great because my daughter, you know, wants to get things similar to her, her friends like chips. And but I don't want to only load her her lunch with unhealthy food. So I put a, a bag of Quest chips in her lunch every day and she loves it she doesn't know the difference at all she thinks that she's just like the rest of the kids having delicious chips and they taste good but they're packed full of protein and so there's so much you know they're a healthier option for her and i love that i can provide that so to check out more about their products you can go to questnutrition.com look in the show notes for that yeah you guys i'm a big fan of their keto products too they're they're um, changing the game in the keto industry uh, if you go to questketo.com they have amazing Crackers, uh, you know, so they're high in fat, moderate amounts of protein, and low carb, so a little bit different than their protein bars or protein chips, for example. They have amazing crackers. They have amazing um, desserts, like the, uh, the the cups, the peanut butter cups that they have, or the fudge cups, chocolate bars. They honestly taste so amazing because they're high in fat. And when it comes to ketosis, you guys, they're really good for you. So check that out, too. And we're definitely very grateful for our sponsors because we wouldn't be able to do any of this without them. So, all right, let's jump into today's episode with Dan and Malia, the two winners from uh, the 60 Day Challenge from Dollar Workout Club. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Fit to Fat to Fit Experience podcast. I'm your host, Drew Manning. And I'm your co-host, Lynn Manning. Now, today, uh, we have a little bit of a different setup, so we need you guys to be a little bit patient with this. So basically, here's the scenario. We are in my hotel room. <laughs> There's four people here. There's four people on a bed. <laughs> Stop being dirty. And two microphones. Okay, so we are in uh, Carlsbad, California, and um, we are with the winners of our Dollar Workout Club 60-Day Challenge. So we have Dan Ashworth. Can you say hi? What's up, everybody? <laughs> and we have Malia Worth. Hello. <laughs> so they are the winners of our 60-Day Challenge, and we'll get into the details of what all that is. But basically, I brought all my podcast equipment with me. We're here in beautiful California, and um, you know I wanted to do this, but I didn't have the setup for four different mics. Um, so eventually, I'll get to that point. So just bear with us. Len and I are sharing a mic, and Malia and Dan are sharing a mic. So we'll try and... Um, We'll try not to throw elbows as everybody wants some airtime space. Yeah, we're all going to be fighting for the microphone, I'm sure. Um, okay, so really quick, we're going to jump into this. The reason I have Dan and Malia on is, yes, they were the winners of the Six City Challenge. I want to, I want them to share their experience of what uh, what it was from their perspective, um, how they overcame challenges, and what they did to win the Six City Challenge. And um, on the in the show notes of this episode, you guys, you will be able to see their transformation pictures and we'll put a link to their story as well. Okay, so to give you guys a synopsis, um, me, Lynn, and Natalie are the creators of DollarWorkoutClub.com, and you might have heard us talk about it in the past. Basically, it's an online platform that people can subscribe to. It's a, about a buck a week, and people get access to five at-home workout videos, five motivational videos, and five healthy recipe videos, new content every single week for about a buck a week, and people can subscribe and stream the at-home workouts to their smartphone, their um, iPads, or their laptops, or computers, even their smart TVs. And so anyways, <clears throat> that's what Dollar Workout Club is in a nutshell. So what, we had this idea. We teamed up with this supplement company called MRM. Um, metabolic response um, metabolizers. <laughs> no. no, metabolic Dan, Dan, response. Correct, Drew. What is yeah, it? What go is ahead. It? Metabolic response modifiers. That is, that's there we it go. Is. It's MRM. Now you guys sure. see why he won. <laughs> <laughs> MRM for short. So basically, uh, we teamed up with them. They sponsored it. And uh, we provided our the people that s signed up for the six-day challenge with 60 days of meal plans, uh, 60 days of workouts from Dollar Workout Club, and um, each person had to pack it, had to purchase a pack from MRM for the 60 days, right, to implement into their um, nutritional program. And then we said the grand prize winners, uh, one male, one female, will be flown out uh, to to California for uh, with an all expenses paid trip out here to meet me, Lynn, and Natalie, and to tour the MRM facility and hang out with the owner and have some fun. I mean, we went on, like on a hike to Torrey Pines. We walked on the beach. We ate good food. 
we're going stand up paddle boarding at sunset. We're doing a bonfire. So it's mostly fun. It's mostly just. Yeah. And how's it been for you guys so far? It's been fun. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it's been a blast. So, yeah, okay, were, really they quick. They were able to bring someone with them, too, so that makes it a little bit more fun. Yeah, they were able to bring a significant other. Malia brought her sister. <laughs> Dan brought his wife. Um, and Dan, where are you from? Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And Malia? Great Bend, Kansas. Okay, so they've neither of them have been to California. Correct. This is their first that time. Cool. In I love that. Actually, that was my favorite part. Is like <laughs> West Coast. I know. What's that? <laughs> All right. So really quick, I am. I'll, we'll start with you, Dan. I just want you to give a, a short little background of of you, um, and then also how you uh, came to find out about Dollar Workout Club. What led you to Dollar Workout Club, and then we'll get into the challenge in a second. Okay, so uh, I guess to start off, I actually found out about you, Drew, when I was out. Uh, at a customer's home. I remember, I think I saw you on Good Morning America. I can't remember if it was Good Morning America or Dr. Dr. Oz, but I remember seeing you on the TV and you were in your uh, your growth phase. <laughs> in the fit growth. To fat. I like that. He's yeah. being nice about it. <laughs> you're, you're in your fit to fat to fit uh, challenge. You were on the way up. And, uh, and I just remember thinking, uh, you know, that that seemed kind of crazy. At the time, you looked a lot like I did. You know, you had gained a significant amount of weight. And so I I'd basically f- kind of followed you from the beginning. Uh, so I found about Dollar Workout Club just through, you guys, I guess it was you guys' social media. You put it out there. Yeah. And, um, but I didn't, I didn't join right away. Uh, so I, it was really through the 60 day challenge that is what made me decide, you know, I think I'll give this a shot. Yeah. Malia, your turn. <laughs> Hi. Um, I originally followed Natalie on Instagram, I think it was. And then I found Lynn. And then I saw that they were doing a 60-day challenge with Dollar Workout Club. And so I joined Dollar Workout Club. And I'd been a member for a little bit. Okay. But then I joined the challenge. And, yeah, it's been like that ever since. Awesome. Yeah, well, thank you guys for sharing that. So, um, you, Malia, you were a member of Dollar Workout Club before. Yes. Right? Yes. And what made you decide to sign up for Dollar Workout Club first? Um, I had saw that it was only a dollar, and you could do them in your house, and I really like that. I have been paying for a gym membership and haven't been going, so I was like, okay, I'll give this a try and see if I can actually stick to it, and I can. I like it. I enjoy it. Yeah, so now you're like most people who have a gym membership, yes, and they pay yes. the monthly fee, and yes. they don't even go. Yes. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons we created Dollar Workout Club was for people, you know, to get rid of, not to really to get rid of that excuse, but to make it more convenient for them to show them that you don't need a gym to get in good shape. And so that's one of the reasons we created it. So, um, okay, Dan, back to you. You didn't sign up for Dollar Workout Club before the challenge. What was your ex- expectation when you signed up for it? And, w- and then what was your experience? Did that meet your expectation? Uh, yeah, I think my, my expectation was uh, part of my work is I travel a lot. I'm always on the road. I stay in hotel rooms often. And I also had a gym membership. And I think my reluctance to join it was just that, you know, I thought you got to have, you got to have big weights, you know, you've got to be able to go to a gym to really get in shape. Like how much can you really do, you know, body weight exercise or things at home. Um, but, uh, so, so I guess maybe I was skeptical of it. Like that just sounds a little too easy, a little too good to be true. And, uh, not that I had like massive gains or anything like that. It was just a (laughs) mentality, you know, it was just a mentality that I had to be at the gym. So, uh, I think, you know, I, I don't know when you guys put up the 60 day challenge, it's like, you know, I do really well when I've got, you know, when I've got a, uh, a short period of time to really just focus in on something and maybe get a part of a group thing. So my expectations were that, uh, Hey, this would be a great way for me to get some workouts in, you know, I can do them anywhere. I mean, I carry the tablet with me and I'll do the, I would do the workouts in hotel rooms, oftentimes, um, in my garage. I mean, just, just anywhere. I just carry that tablet with me. And, um, I think I was really uh, surprised at how quickly you could get burning. I mean, like just every part of your parts of your body could be really burning in like 10 minutes, you know, 10, 10, 12 minutes. And, you know, then you're just really struggling to finish the workout. So I was surprised at how fast that the workouts would fatigue me. And, um, and I think really the, I think the biggest surprise was the, the support in, in the Facebook group and the community that you guys have developed and how, how everybody is just so uplifting, so inspiring. There was, there was so much, I mean, that, that was probably the biggest surprise to me was joining that little, that little Facebook group and seeing how many people were, were in there just encouraging and 
and uh, it's important. Yeah, I love that. And see, for us, you know, there's so many programs out there. There's so many ways that you can diet or exercise. And we don't really believe there's like one right, right. You know, it's not like, oh, you can only do Dollar Workout Club and you'll see success. Just like you can't, you know, paleo might work for one, keto for another. And so it's always interesting and inspiring, though, to hear what helped propel somebody into living a healthier lifestyle and what you guys don't see um, but hopefully if you click on the show notes you can read a little bit about it is our choice wasn't just based off physical results and even though dan and malia look amazing that wasn't the reason why we chose them it's the whole encompass factor of their story and what they wrote about the emotion emotional or mental standpoint and everything like that so from your point of view we'll start with malia and then we'll go to to dan you know what do you feel are some of the things you know, and it definitely doesn't even have to be the actual workouts, but what do you think are some of the things that have really helped you to adopt a healthier lifestyle, whether like Dan was saying a little bit might, might have been more of the support or maybe it's something else that you learned throughout the 60 day challenge, but what are some takeaways of things that have really helped you to create more of a lifestyle around healthy living? Um, something that I learned was um, changing the way I was eating. I used the recipes that they made in the meal plans, but then I used the recipes in Dollar Workout Club and um changing up how i was eating and how often i was eating changed like helped me a lot because i would tend to get hungry and then i would just binge on like junk food and even though it's good but (laughs) i um would binge on that and then wouldn't see results and so i think just mostly the recipes and eating um the workouts were helpful too in the community but I liked it all. Yeah. Malia, do you mind? Okay, so you guys, you know, you got, you definitely have to click on the show notes to see uh, Malia's transformation pictures, but also her story. Can you tell us a little bit about you and your story? Because okay. a lot of people might not know. <laughs> um, I don't know how much into detail you want, but as I As much detail as possible. <laughs> okay. I was born um, three months early. I weighed one pound and a half when I was born in the NICU for three months. Um, I was born with cerebral palsy. I have a brain bleed. And so I had a brain bleed when I was born. Um, And so it's been a struggle for my entire life um, to learn to work out the right way to not hurt myself by doing it. Um, But I have learned to get stronger through the workouts. I can switch from green to yellow to red, um, depending on what I'm working out because like my legs aren't very strong so I'll do green on those but my arms are stronger so I'll do red on those but um so I kind of just pick whichever one and I like that about Dollar Workout Club because it's not you have to lift as much as you can or you don't have to you can modify it so and so yeah (laughs) <laughs> and I kind of went a long roundabout way with no, that. No, I, I, no, that I asked for as much detail as possible. <laughs> for those who might not know uh, that much about cerebral palsy, can you tell us what it is for you and what limitations um, it causes you to have? I cerebral palsy. Um, I actually don't know that much about it. Um, Natalie actually posted a podcast and I listened to it on the way here. But um, I have my hips aren't as flexible, so they're more spastic. So I have to stretch my hips more, and um, so, and then it tends to make me, I've only had two surgeries, so I've been lucky. I can walk, that's true too. Um, I've been lucky with that, but, um, so I just stretch my hips more and everything like that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so going over to Dan, kind of back to that other question, as far as your, um, because Lily was talking a little bit about what she thought was like inspiring, helping her to live a healthier lifestyle. Like, what are some of the things, whether it's the 60 day challenge or in general, because I know that you've been, you know, incorporating a healthy lifestyle for a while, because you've been following us for a long time. But what do you think have been like the, some of the biggest things that have helped you to incorporate living a healthier lifestyle? Um, I think first of all, like, uh, probably one of the things that I always say to people, who are maybe where I was when I started is you have to get so uncomfortable, you know, more uncomfortable with the way that you live that, 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 that uncomfort is greater than the, the discomfort of change, you know? So I, I do remember, you know, that, that day, that, that moment where I was like, you know, this is it. I'm done. I, I missed out on a cousin's, uh, graduation party and a bunch of family were going to be there, but I was having lots of like reflux issues and heartburn. And it was just, so I, I, I would always say like, you know, sometimes you, you kind of have this aha moment and you know, like, you know what, I, things have got to change. So from there, I, I felt like it was, it, it's been a constant struggle. I mean, that was all the way back in 2009 that I began trying to make changes, but there's just so many habits that I had acquired that were just 
awful. I mean, just, it just awful. I mean, you know, eating all the wrong things, you know, being hard on my body, you know, not getting adequate, you know, nutrition, sleep. I mean, you name it. I mean, I was pretty much doing everything to, to give myself a heart attack at 40, you know? And so, but, uh, but the struggle for me has been, you know, I, I was like, man, I feel like I've only got so much willpower to be able to implement change. Like I can do certain small things and kind of gradually get there, but I feel like it's been a very slow process. So, but one thing I have learned is, and, and I think that I really love about the dollar workout club is it's simple. You know, it's, you, you, you put on, put on the video, the recipes are, you know, you know, it's like, I didn't necessarily, because I do travel a lot, I, I couldn't necessarily stay with the exact, you know, each meal, do this meal every single day, but I could find a staple, you know, like, Hey, I can make this and I can make it over and over and over again. And I can incorporate that in as like my go-to thing instead of it being a McDonald's cheeseburger, you know? <laughs> so basically just trying to find a way to, I remember like the first thing I did when, when you got off your fit to fat to fit journey and you and everybody was, there was this big production about what's the first thing he's going to eat now that he's gotten back to his pre-weight what's the first thing he's going to eat and i was all excited to see like was it going to be donuts was it going to be you know what was it going to be and he makes this spinach shake and so i remember long, long ago like i even I, I was just like well if i can just eat the spinach shake for breakfast you know that was i might have had mcdonald's for lunch that day but i had a spinach shake you know so i changed breakfast you know and then i gradually changed lunch and and then it was just a matter of finding you know finding healthier recipes because i didn't know when you get those sugar cravings, you know, when you get those, like, I really need, I just want to eat some junk food. There are actually some really good, sweet tasting, you know, healthy recipes that, that, you know, that aren't as bad for you. So lots of, you know, lots of good things in the dollar workout club. Yeah. And what's interesting about that is I love when I hear people talk about how they're able to create healthy habits. And of course you could probably read a million studies and everyone's again, going to result different, but I was uh, listening to an, an interesting, um, can't remember if it was a, a Facebook post or whatnot, but it was talking about the statistics of habits and habit stacking. Habit stacking is when you create one habit and you stack it upon it. What Daniel was saying about the spinach shake and that that was like his go-to focus and then he kind of built upon that. I think what the study was showing was that in general, when someone's creating a habit, if they focus on one thing and that's it, that's like they're literally laser focused on one habit, their chances of succeeding if they're just focused on one is actually about 80%, which is very high. But the moment they integrate in a second habit, but before the first habit is formed, it goes down to 35%, a significant drop. Because unfortunately for most people, we tend to get overwhelmed by doing too much at a time. And that's what's hard about diet programs and weight training programs. And, you know, if you're doing too much at once. So like what we like to focus at, you know, Drew and I just as individual brand and then with Natalie for Dollar Workout Club is we aren't all or nothing. We're not the no excuses. We're all about just like integrating in small healthy habits. And yeah, maybe you get in a workout and that was your only focus for the day. Or maybe you just do one of the healthy recipes and that's one of the focus for the day. But if I could say one thing to most of my clients, it's always that. It's, you know, take it easy on yourself, love yourself through the process, just focus on one thing each day and then build upon that. So habit stack. Yeah. Habit stacking is uh, definitely a great tool. All right. Something that people need to learn over time because they do have that all or nothing mentality. And sometimes that's the downside to the 60 day challenges. Sometimes is people go all out 100% in and they do it. And then six days is over. Like, Oh man, finally it's over. I can have a cheeseburger donuts, you know? And then they're like, uh, oh, you know, I can have this now. There's no more six day challenge. What are some things that you guys have done since the six day challenge has been over a while to maintain the results? Um, because sometimes life happens. So what are some things that you guys have done? I'll start with Malia. Um, something I've done is, I have slacked off some since the 60 day challenge, but I tend to just try to make one meal from the recipes to eat like three days a week. So that way I'm still getting in a good meal at least three days a week. And then I try to stick with the water and the water and, and a workout every single day. So gotcha. Yeah. You guys, you guys definitely need to see Malia's, uh, photos, her abs, her arms, like even, even Dan was telling me he's jealous of her triceps. <laughs> yeah, man. I was like, wish we got here. I'm like, Oh my gosh, I just want to go squeeze her arms. Like look at those triceps. Seriously, I know. Yeah. Seriously. We were like walking behind her. I just it was mesmerized yeah. by the triceps. When I saw her after photos of her abs, I, I jokingly looked at Natalie, Natalie. I was like, I mean, I have abs like that too. Like underneath this layer of fat that I use to protect them because I care about them so much. 
but yeah, no, she looks amazing. Go check out that the after photo. It's amazing. Yeah, and Dan, uh, tell us about your results. I mean, obviously, you know, we're not talking about six pack abs, but for you, what were your results, man? Like, like Wait, you didn't see my like, six pack. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's there. I know it's there. But like Lynn said, the transformation wasn't about you know who lost the most weight, right? Because there was people that lost more weight. Tell us about your transformation. What, what, like, you don't have to talk about pounds if you don't want to, but what, what transformed for you? Yeah. Well, I mean, I can say pounds. I mean, I, I, you know, I feel like I think I lost about 13 pounds over the 60 days. And, uh, there have been times in the past where I went all out, like cut out no sugar, you know, and I've lost more weight, but you know, and then I did it until I got down to a weight and then I was right back to the all of the old habits and it came back with a vengeance, you know, it was like came back and then some. So, uh, I knew that going into it, first of all, like starting the challenge, um, there, there was a lot of activity, like with the Facebook page and I was seeing tons and tons of activity and I was just like, it was overwhelming. You know, I wanted to comment on everybody's stuff. I, I, I just remember seeing like how many people, uh, but I remember thinking even early on, I was like, man, I, I know that if, you know, that, that this is something that I've got to like, I've got to implement as a, as a constant lifestyle change. So, um, I mean, it's interesting, like with anything, you know, we all go, go in hardcore and then by the end, you know, there's not that many people left that are, you know, that are as involved. And, um, so, so for me, it was just a matter of, um, of just knowing that about myself, you know, that I, I could be that guy that just goes all in at the very beginning and, and then taper off. I've been that so many times and I, and I just, I think that was probably like the one thing that I told myself this time. I'm not going to be that guy this time. You know, I'm going to stick through this the whole way. And then coming out to the end, um, of course, you know, we had to come out and meet you guys. So it's like, I can't, I can't show up like a big fat slob, you know? So <laughs> we planned it that way. We're like, let's delay this trip as much as possible so that they have to meet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but you mentioned an interesting thing, the Facebook page, right? I feel like that right there was, was probably the number one thing that helped people, during the challenge because you could get meal plans anywhere, right? You could go to bodybuilding.com. Someone will give you meal plans, right? You could go find exercise program anywhere, right? Like it's, it's, you can get it for free, pay for it, whatever. The accountability though, having a support system is what there is, where the real value is, right? And you guys on the Facebook group, me, Lynn and Natalie are only three people. We try to keep up with comments and responding and liking and motivating. Like it was really, really hard. Cause I think we had like 500 people, um, that were on the Facebook page. And what was really cool was to see people like Dan out there every single day posting a video, talking about his struggles, his successes, motivating other people. And um, that's really what the challenge was all about, keeping each other accountable. Um, and, and so that's what you know. Lynn and I talk about is staying accountable to somebody, whether it's a Facebook group, whether it's your mom and dad, your brother and sister, your, your spouse, your kids, whoever. You need to find someone to stay accountable to because no matter who you are, even for Lynn and I, sometimes we get burnt out of working out too. Like if you're just working out to weigh a certain weight or to look a certain way, that goes away over time. Like you get burnt out of like, oh man, I got like I just want a six pack, but I have to put in so much effort. You you lose that motivation over time. But if you are constantly making new goals, setting new goals, and you have someone to stay accountable to. That's where we found most people were able to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Like we see people on Biggest Loser or Extreme Weight Loss or even from my TV show, the ones that have kept the weight off um, are the ones that still stay accountable to their social media following. They're still posting you know, meals that they're eating. They're still posting workouts that they're doing. And they're not perfect all the time, but they admit those things. They don't, whereas most people from, the sh from those shows that fall off, they just stop posting because they're so ashamed. They're like, oh, I've gained 10 pounds back. I can't post yet. I got to lose this weight before I start posting again. And then, you know, life happens and they're like, man, I'm gaining almost all my weight back and I can't post. Like, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so ashamed. Um, and they just beat themselves up. And it's sad to see the ones that just continually stay accountable, you know, whether they're, you know, successful or not. Those are the ones that usually are able to maintain a healthy lifestyle over time because we go through cycles sometimes during the year of, you know, it's holidays, so we're going to take a break. Or, you know, I'm traveling for work for the next three weeks. It's too hard. I'm too stressed out. I don't have time to exercise. I go through that, too. I worked out one day this past week, <laughs> you know, and my nutrition wasn't on point. We went to a donut shop today. <laughs> Lynn, Lynn made us go. 
I didn't make anybody do anything. Okay. <laughs> everybody willingly walked into that donut shop and everybody willingly put a donut in their mouth. And I don't feel bad about it. We just went for a hike replacing that glycogen levels. I always like to say that. <laughs> she likes to sound scientific, justifying a reason to eat a donut. Um, I was going to say, I, I wanted to ask you guys a little bit of a question. I, I want to say something nice about MRM. Um, they were the sponsor for our, our challenge. And this is the thing that people, I, I want to say that just, just so people really realize how genuine this statement is. MRM does not pay us. MRM does not pay me for marketing. They don't pay me for advertising. Um, they don't even sponsor me. They they are an amazing supplement company. And one of the main reasons I love them is because, well, one, of course, if you actually look at their product, they are organic, they use all natural ingredients, and they are use science. You guys, they have studies on all of their products and what they do and the ingredients they use. You know, when they're using, for example, when they're using a milk product, they make sure that the, the cows that you know are producing the milk are not being pumped full of hormones and, and, and antibiotics and different things. Things that they're going to great lengths to make sure you have a quality product. And because I like their product, I like their protein and fish oil, and they're just a good company, we we wanted to see if they would be willing to host the challenge because we felt confident in people using their product because we know how good they are. And I also love like the owner you probably haven't even heard of them. Maybe you guys have, but a lot of people haven't heard of MRM because they're not this company that's out there with half naked people holding a bottle of product that they don't even use. Again, this is a company based on quality ingredients and science, and they don't do actually a lot of online marketing. And I really respect that about the company. So just to, because I appreciate them so much and because I, you guys might might have used their products. I know at least Dan did. I think Malia did as well. Will you guys share maybe one of the products that you liked and why? It doesn't even have to be a long explanation. But um, I like their vanilla protein powder, but I want to try the strawberry because everybody says it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, I've I've tried several different protein powders to make that spinach shake, and yeah, hands down, it's the best tasting vanilla whey protein. And uh, the other thing is that with that 60 day pack, I mean, I've, you, you get all these other, these other items, but the digestive enzy- enzymes, I didn't bring them with me and I, I feel bloated you know, like, <laughs> because I'm not taking must them. Must be the donuts. It must be the donuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they really, I mean, yeah. there's been times where I was like, Ooh, I know I, j- I probably shouldn't have eaten that. And I popped those. It really helps. I mean, that, it's amazing how much a digestive enzyme can help. Yeah, what's interesting is, you know, like, like Lynn said, we're not sponsored by them. They're not paying us for this podcast. We're just saying, you know, they're genuinely nice. They, you know, paid for everybody's expense out here. I, I honestly don't know if they made money or lost money or, you know, I don't know. I know they don't care about money. They care about genuinely helping people. And that's why they were, were you know, so nice to sponsor the six-day challenge. And everybody had to buy a pack to enter the challenge, right? That was the, that was the, one of the rules. Um but yeah, I'm a big fan of their digestive enzymes. Their wild Alaskan uh, salmon fish oil. Um, they have so many great products. And Mark, you know, who we actually might bring on the podcast here pretty soon. The owner, he is a scientist first. Like he's not a businessman. That's why he doesn't pay for marketing. He doesn't believe in it. And uh, it's just a totally different supplement company. We actually know quite a few people in the industry that are sponsored by other <laughs> supplement companies. Uh, that are they they are paid for, but they take the MRM product kind of on the down low because they don't <laughs> like they you know they could get in trouble, but they like the quality of it. And what I like about their protein is that they use artificial sweeteners, and the fact that they have a vegan protein powder that I like is amazing. And it's the cinnamon cinnamon bun veggie elite. It's delicious. You said that they do not use artificial sweeteners, right? Say that again. You said they do not use artificial sweeteners, right? Okay. Yeah, they do not. No, they do not. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, really? Yeah, they use aspartame. It's amazing, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> tastes like tastes like Diet Coke. <laughs> okay. Well, we are going. Are we going? Are you ready to go in the lightning round? Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do? We're going to wrap it up. You guys did awesome. Look, you guys were in the hot seat. We actually didn't give Dan or Malia really any notice. We're just like, hey come up and and let's do this podcast you guys survived but we're putting you in the hot seat for one more hot second where we like to do the lightning round and if you guys have listened to our podcast you know what the lightning round is it's where we ask a few series of random questions that literally have nothing to do with anything we just really enjoy them so you get to answer them as quickly as possible we'll tell you who gets to answer what are you ready that was the first question 
Yes. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay. Who should we start with? Drew? Flip the coin. You, you want to do it? Okay. Okay, I'll do the first question. <laughs> okay, this is a serious question now, so no smiling. Have you ever done Dollar Workout Club at home, right, or in your hotel room, in your underwear? No. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, have you done it naked before? Yes. Oh, <laughs> Mad respect, mad props. Okay, if anyone... Wait, thank you for not filming that and putting that on Facebook for us. <laughs> Hashtag Dollar Workout Club. Um, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I've done like naked squats or lunges where, of course, not in public. So, yeah. I mean, sometimes you're naked and you're just like, now's the moment to squat. I mean, you know, you don't want to pack another set of clothes, you know, and sweating out all those clothes. You could maybe at the hotel, just do it naked. But that's what's great about Dollar Workout Club, you guys. You don't need clothes to get a workout in. Oh, man. Okay. Um, what is your favorite healthy thing to eat? I'm just throwing that out there because I never ask it because you know I don't care. But I'm actually curious because you guys are actually normal people. If you had to pick something healthy that you actually enjoy eating, what would it be? Both of you. Um, grilled veggies. Oh, wow. Yeah, and my staple has been that spinach shake forever. But recently... Mixing that protein powder with Greek yogurt and putting like some blueberries and a little bit of granola. I mean, that's like yeah. dessert. <laughs> okay, that's what I was going to ask next is what's your favorite Dollar Workout Club recipe? Which I'm, I'm guessing that's kind of one, but do you have one? Um, it's not very healthy, but the healthy cookies and cream pie, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a healthified yeah. version of it. We healthified it, you know? Yeah, I think finding healthified versions of sweets to get you through those cravings. So I went out and bought a donut pan. I actually I made all the ingredients because I was thinking, I didn't know I had to have a donut pan. So I had everything mixed up. And then I had to run out to the grocery store. I went to like four stores trying to find a donut pan. So those donuts are pretty The awesome. healthy protein donuts, yes, right? I yes. think they're protein donuts. Oh, yeah. Those are actually delicious. You guys know that I don't I generally do not like knock off healthy items. I'll try like a healthy muffin and I'm like, this is disgusting. But the healthy protein donuts on Dollar Workout Club are legit. They are so good. They're delicious. Okay, my question. Next question. This one could get me in a lot of trouble. I literally don't get offended, so we'll, we'll go with it. Who is your favorite Dollar Workout Club trainer? And why? And we're watching you. We're, we're I, I, you know you you guys could all That's get out of it by saying Natalie. She's not in the room, but yeah. you, it could be anybody. It could be anybody. All of them together because they're hilarious. Oh, well, Leah took the cop out. It's like a parent that's like, I love each of my children equally. It's really is hard to say because I like all three of you for different reasons. You know, <laughs> it's it's hard. That's hard to say. I don't know. If I could pick one. <laughs> Okay, no, that's fine. That's totally fine. We get it. Okay, give us your best impression of Natalie. Okay, or give us your best impression okay, of any of the traders. I was going to say, the only thing I think is like, I think I'm going to hurl. <laughs> Gosh, for those that don't know, Natalie, in the last round of filming, we were filming the workout. And at the very end, she's like, bye. And then like that was a cut, but the cameras were still rolling. She's like, I think I'm going to throw up. And she turns around. There's a pond right behind where we were filming. And she just hurled everywhere. And we actually, since we got on camera, we put on a blooper reel. Yeah, it's on my Facebook page if you guys want to go watch Natalie throw up on camera. And we're all laughing at her. Okay, that's a good one. Malia? Um, can you do any of that? No, yeah, can I'm you, can you do do any of us? No, no. Just do this. Just do this. You gotta burn it to earn I, it. I was thinking of something either like that or curls for the girls. Curls for the girls. <laughs> she nailed Drew on that one. That was a good one, Dan. You got one for us? Oh, that was you that's all I got, it. man. That's you all I got. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, okay, so no, um, I can I can do one of Natalie. Okay, let's hear it. <laughs> so she's gonna kill me. Uh. <laughs> So this one time at track camp, I have a track story, and I was running as fast. Okay, and it stops there. Because Natalie, every time she's doing a workout, she gives us a track analogy. And it's just, sometimes it makes sense, and sometimes it makes no sense. And that's why sometimes I will start busting out laughing or shaking my head during the actual filming of the workout. We love Natalie. Oh, Natalie's my favorite. Her and I laugh all the time. Okay. Last question. If you could have dinner 
with anyone, whether it's dead or someone that's dead now or alive, anyone, famous person, who would it be? You could have dinner with anybody, anyone that's ever lived or is currently living. It's a random hard one, I know. Oh, we're really drawing blanks here. Um, for, the problem is like we were just talking in the van about Carrie Underwood. There you go. And Is it Carrie Underwood? I'm thinking that's all I can think of right now because, I mean, I'm a pretty big Carrie Underwood fan. Yeah. Are so you just, I wouldn't mind having, she's really cute, too. And I love her voice. Carrie Underwood. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe she could serenade me through dinner. Right? Right? No, right? She'll just sing to you? Okay. Well, mine's a singer, too, but probably Luke Bryan. So that way he can oh, shake it for me. Oh, dang. They're both picking hotties there. All right. All right. Mad respect. Mad respect. All right. You guys survived. You guys are done. That's just a quick little interview. But, no, we appreciate you guys coming on. We appreciate you guys letting us share your stories. Because at the end of the day, you guys, you guys are the ones that most people can relate to. All right. Not everyone can relate to Lynn. Not everyone can relate to me and my fit-to-fit to fit story sometimes. But it's those, you know, you guys are your, 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 your everyday average great people that most people can relate to. It's not so much about us. Um, your guys' stories, you never know who you're going to inspire, right? And that's one thing to keep in the back of your mind to help keep you guys going on your journey is that your stories probably have inspired people you don't even know, right? And so um, keep living the lifestyle. And thank you guys for sharing the story and coming on the podcast and hopefully um, – you guys will we'll see you guys around the future and keep posting on social media yeah thanks for having us on very first podcast thank you you're welcome all right we'll see you guys thank you guys so much for listening to today's episode with dan and malia uh, the winners of the 60 day challenge we hope you guys enjoyed this short little episode um, and uh, hopefully learn something because i think at the end of the day not everybody can relate to lynn and i you know um I think Dan and Malia are good representations of people that, um, <clears throat> you know, are your everyday people that struggle. You know, maybe their goal isn't to have a six pack or isn't to look a certain way. It's to take care of their health for their kids, you know, or their grandkids. And, you know, Malia having, you know, was born with cerebral palsy. I mean, she has a struggle and she's able to overcome that and she's in amazing shape. So hopefully you guys were inspired and learned something from this episode. I know uh, that they inspired me. Yeah. I love them. They're just yeah, great people. They are amazing, you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting our podcast. We really appreciate you being patient with us, and, and we promise to c- continue to bring uh, amazing guests on, here on the podcast. And please feel free to reach out to us with ideas or suggestions of people you want to hear from on our podcast. And you know, we, we love to interview new people and, and spread the knowledge. That's, I think, my whole goal with the podcast is to take what I've learned and what I know and, and, and then find people smarter than me and bring them on the podcast to find out what they know to pass it on down to you guys. So I just feel like I'm the middleman here, and I've learned so much over the past year. We actually had our one-year anniversary um, for the podcast a couple weeks ago. Anyways, um, uh, feel free to reach out to us on social media. All my social media is at fit to fat to fit Lens is all too fit at home Those are our websites as well, fit to fit dot com and twofitathome.com. And don't forget to tune in next week for another great episode here on the Fit to Fat to Fit Experience Podcast. Mm-hmm.